Welcome back. Woody here. The second video, anti up, hitting the old YouTubes. You know, we've been Facebooking for a while. That's been gaining some popularity with uh, all of our little mini painting, little zabi daz. All right. But some of you uh, cool cats and kittens out there, <laughs> you want to see some cards opened. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to open this here box of Icoria. Day before release, getting it out to you. We're going to go ahead and do a little cross cut. Mimic our, uh, our mentor here. Enjoy the, uh, the wisdom of the greater entities. I'd like to take our hats off to all those amazing guys who make this possible. Creepy Rudy. We love you. You're the best. Keep doing what you do. You inspire us all. We wouldn't be making these uh, videos, doing these things, playing these games, keeping these LGSs alive. If it wasn't for you, man. Very inspiring. Never afraid to, to say what's on your mind. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. Hope maybe someday I can be uh, I can be one of your ninjas. The old professor, Talarian Academy. Of that oh, box toppers, you know, we like them, you know, we like them. So, we're gonna, we're gonna just we're gonna slip that up there. Oh, you know what? Over there, out of the way, out of the way. We'll make bad decisions, we'll open it, we'll do it. Save it for the end, though. Save it for the end. Look at all these cool artworks. I'm already digging it, I'm already digging it. I'm liking it. There's a weird little owl monkey porcupine. Get that box out of here. Lid it on there. No stinking box. All right. Here we go. Lots of packs. Gonna open them up. I'm going to do the deed. Do the deed. Watch me mess up my piles now. Are you watching? Okay, here we go. Keep track because I'm, I'm telling you, at some point, I'm going to put the commons and the uncommons. I'm going to put the Gun commons and the rares and vice versa and don't even try to keep up with tokens and stuff. It's just going to be a disaster. All right. Bam. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Where's the little tear? Where's the little tear? No little tear on that end. Little tear right there. Can I open it? Nope. My little grandma hands won't do it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We're living the dream now. Ooh. Are these backwards? Are these going to be backwards? Oh, no, they're going to be backwards. All right. So we're going to butcher the first one to figure out what the order is here. First off, I don't know if you can see that. But I don't think I did that. I don't, I don't, can, can, can you see at the top of that card there? That, that's, uh, somebody misloved this dinosaur. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like it was me never know speak up in the comments if you saw me blatantly uh mishandle or abuse this dinosaur and you think i created this card let me know otherwise is this a thing we need to look out for in icoria is it gonna be a thing a new trend the next card down's not not damaged all right anyway token who cares so we're just oh yep they're backwards okay okay so we're gonna have to do them this way boom scorpion Boom, boom. You know what? You guys don't want to see comments. You guys don't want to see no comments. All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna skip right here to the uncommons. Okay, so there's our commons out of the way. Our island out of the way. Ooh, here we go, foil rare, hunted nightmare. Hunted nightmare, very nice, very nice, very cool. Uh, Menace, four, five, 100 nightmare, enters battlefield target opponent, puts a death touch counter on a creature they control. But he's three for a four five with menace. That's a thing. That's a thing. Song of creation. Always nice. Always nice. Uh, Savvy crystal, vivid beckoner, and a th trumpeting nar. Trumpeting nar. That's a thing. Trumpeting nar. We've got a nar trumpeter, ladies and gentlemen. That's our commons, our uncommons, rares, and our foils. Next up. 
I'm looking for the little slit. Little slit. There it is. Boom. Oh, it's like hatching a freaking baby Gigantosaurus here. Oh, Kraken tokens. Can never go wrong with a Kraken token. All right. So we're going to get that right out of the way. Tokens and lands. All right. There's our uncommons. There's our commons. All right. Gown. Windscarred Crag. Little foil action. Never was a, a huge fan of the uh, the gain life lands, but what can you do? Put it over. Yeah, we'll put it over here with that. Probably foils. Let it feel good about itself. Whirlwind of Thought. A white, a red, a blue, a colorless. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, draw a card. That could be something. I'm telling you. Nice little rare there. A little rare action. Uh, Ominous Seas. Telling your reflection. Flame Spill. Uncommons. Never know. Could get a could get a good uncommon or something. Looking for our little little slit. I love when they put the little slit. I just at the same time it it almost gives me anxiety because I feel like I gotta find the little slit. Okay, there we go. Boom. Oh, we got our first mythic. That's our first mythic. Yep. Nathori, Apex of Death. Apex of Death? Apex. What's an Apex? This guy's an Apex. One green, one black, one white, two colorless. Legendary creature, Cat, Night, and Your Beast. Cats are kind of Night, and Your Beast. Just saying, just saying. No shade from the cat people, please. I'm just, I'm a dog person. I am. I'm a dog person. I'm kind of a lemur person, too. I don't own one. Don't, don't raid my house. I don't own one, but I do think they're very cool. Uh, maybe a bear cat, you know, one of those, uh, um, oh gosh, they start with a B, but they smell like popcorn. I think that's just cool. Um, mutate four and a green or a white and two black. Death touch life link. Whenever this creature mutates, return any number of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Kind of stupid strong. Love it. Love it. Going to be a good time. So there's our first mythic. Got our first mythic right out of the gate. A couple foils. Shout out in the comments how many th how many mythics you think we're gonna see in this. All right, so we know we've got our token card, got our land card. Yep, got our land card. Okay. Oh, that's our good one. Oh, that means you three are on commons, and then you are all commons. Oh, oh, oh! Look, apparently we got to check commons for the alt art. It's going to be a thing. We better take a look real quick before we go too far. Probably like 14 more of them sitting over here. Wasn't aware that we were going to have alt art commons. Okay. We don't have any more. We haven't missed any. Okay. 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 So we've scooched around. We've, we've readied up. We're, we're good to go. Okay. Bam. Unpredictable Cyclone. Kind of a cool card there. Whole lot of text. Does all sorts of goofy things. If Cycling Ability or another non-land card would cause you to draw a card, instead exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a card that shares a card type with the cycled card. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Then put the exiled cards that weren't cast this way onto the bottom of your library in random order. I've got the hiccups. This is going to be insane. I want to thank you guys for checking us out. Anti-Up Gaming Oscoda. Find us on Facebook. AntiUpOscoda.com is our website. And of course, you've already found us here on YouTube. So please feel free to like, subscribe, and grab that notification bell. It does greatly help us. The more that you do that, the more likely that we are to keep doing this. Uh, you want to shout out one of our videos? Go ahead and hit that bell. You'll be shouting out random people. It's going to happen. Want a chance to win some of these cards? Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. That's all you got to do. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and leave a comment. We got you covered. We're going to send you some cards. Cat bird token. Dismal Blackwater. Oh, here we go. Here's the artifact that everybody's talking about. The Ozolith. 
One colorless legendary artifact. Whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on the Ozolith. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if the Ozolith has counters on it, you may remove all the counters from Ozolith on to target creature. <laughs> Anybody say walking ballista? Very cool, very cool. Reconnaissance mission. Will all the hunter. Storming his wanderer. Very cool, very cool. Just take a quick look. Make sure we're not missing any alt art. Nice, nice. Tokens. Gonna need tokens. Land. Foil. All right. All right. Rael the Everwise. One red, one blue, one colorless. Mythic, legendary creature, human wizard. Rael the Everwise gets one plus one plus zero for each instant or sorcery card in your graveyard. Whenever you discard one or more cards for the first time each turn, draw that many cards. Seems, seems that's got potential. Put that down here in our mythic. So far, we got a two mythic box. Easy Prey, Zagoth Crystal, Splendor Mare. Those are our uncommons. Love the alt art cards. I really do. I'm digging it. Very, very old school flavor. I love the comic book artwork. I love that it's not just some computer image slammed out there. Don't get me wrong, I like me some borderless cards. I really do. Token, token. Titan's Nest. All right. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top cards of your library. You may put a card into your graveyard. You may put that card into your graveyard. Exile a card from your graveyard. Add one waste. Spend this mana only to cast colored spells without X in their mana cost. Giggity. Bastion and Remembrance Barrier, albeit... Heed Bonder. I almost said, yeah, I'm not going to repeat it. Creature Human Scout at the beginning of your end step. Uh, one life for each creature you control with Vigilance. Don't know how I feel about that, but that's our uncommons. Beacon of Remembrance might be a thing. No alt art. Kind of want to see an alt art rare or mythic. That'd be, that'd be dope. Or a foil alt. Foil art art, alt art, anything would be just cool. Just cool. How do you guys feel about foils? Shout out, tell me in the comments. Death's Oasis. Hey, is that our second Death's Oasis? Maybe there was just one in the last video. This is the second video I shot back to back. Kind of do a thing here. Okay, Death's Oasis. A green, a black, and a white. Enchantment, whenever a non-token creature you control dies, put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Then return a creature card with lesser converted mana cost than the creature that died from your graveyard to your hand. Pay one, sacrifice the Death's Oasis. You gain life equal to the greatest converted mana cost among creatures you control. That's a mouthful. I always love it when they print a small novel on a card. You can just feel the future arguments. Exuberant Wolf Bear. Archipelago, Footfall Crater. Those are our uncommons. Take a quick glance here for some more alt art. Did, did we actually decrease the amount of alt art this time around, Wizards? We didn't go, didn't go constellation crazy. Anybody else feel like that was a problem with uh, Theros? Or token land? Mythos of Brokos. Oh, this is one of the cave art ones. Okay, right on, right on. I love it. A little cave art painting. Two green, two colorless sorcery. If blue or black was spent to cast a spell, search your library for a card. Put that card into your graveyard, then shuffle your library. Return up to two permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. Hmm. Green, black, or blue? Tutor? Tutor? Is it a tutor? Feels like a tutor. Feels like a tutor, smells like a tutor, probably a tutor. Dire Tactics, exile target creature. If you don't control a human, you lose life equal to that creature's toughness.
What do you guys think of Icoria so far? Is it a thing? You guys think it's uh, definitely a direction we should go? Wow, what an indestructible pack here. Yeah. Maybe it's just my little grandma hands. Unable to uh, get their way in. Gem Razor. Creature Beast. Rare. Mutate. Two green, one colorless. For each trample, whenever this creature mutates, destroy target artifact or enchantment and opponent controls. It's a 4 4 for 4 with reach and trample. A 4 4 for 4 with reach and trample. That's uh, it's actually a pretty well valued card. Rescuer, Charge of the Forever Beast. There we go. There we go. Chittering Harvester. Chittering Harvester. I don't know why I'm getting so excited. They're probably not terribly expensive at all. And uh, some of them aren't even on, like, great cards. But I just love that art. I love seeing that different, you know, just something different. Something new. Been playing Magic a lot of years now. It's, it's cool when you see something they've, they've never done before. One black, five colorless. Creature Nightmare mutate for five. When this creature mutates, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Got potential. Bring Draw Trent, Greater Sandworm. Rounding out our other... On comments. Remember, like, subscribe, ring the bell, ding a ling, all that happy stuff. Make sure that you uh, stay updated and you see these videos. Want to see more content like this? Want to see different content? All you got to do is ask for it. Tell us what you want. We'll be happy to check it out. Swiftwater Quips. We're not, nobody's playing with that. Did I just chuck a rare? Did that just happen? I think I just chucked the rare. Oh my god. I'm going to Magic No Noville. Ooh. Ooh, and when you see this, you guys are going to be like, what a dork! Yeah, yeah. Cheritone Trinome. Full art, colorless. I threw it. It happened. Look at that. That is just cool. And it's a land? And there's a battlefield tap. It's, it, it's a three colored tap land? With the special art in the Zabida and the Cycling 3. Look at that. That is just too cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And I threw it. I, I, I did it. I did it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think I heard it. I think it's going to be okay. Wow. Only rare, but we're going to put that over in the, uh, the special pile right here. With the Mythics. There's our Uncommons. I can't believe I threw that. You know those YouTube moments and they come back, you know, like watch somebody die inside? That just happened. We just shared that moment. And that's when he knew. Blank, blank, blank. We're still going to do it, though. Whew. Unlikely aid foil. Nothing fancy. Nothing crazy there. Put it over there in our foils. Mythos of Vadrock. Sorcery. Mythos of Vadrock deals five damage divided in any way you choose among any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. If white or blue was spent to cast this spell until your next turn, those permanents can't attack or block. And their activated abilities can't be activated. I don't know. Could be a thing. Smasher. Migration Path. Divine Tactics. Wilt. What's a uh, YouTube video these days without talking about the Rona? I, for one, cannot wait to get back to playing cards. It's too quiet in this shop. Too much not going on. There we go. There's that foil comic book art card that we were looking for. Pouncing Shore Shark. Great alt art. Love it. Very cool. Oh, good looking foil. Nice rich colors this time around. Digging it. Digging it. All right. Here we go. Jiruta, Doom of the Depths. Dun, dun, dun. Demon Kraken. Because if your Kraken isn't crackalacking enough, make him a demon Kraken. Blue to black, blue to black, four, colorless, legendary creature, demon Kraken, companion. 
Your starting deck contains only cards with even converted mana costs. If this card is in your chosen companion, you may cast it once from outside the game. When Jairuda enters the battlefield, each player puts the top four cards of the library onto their graveyard, into their graveyard. Put a creature card with an even converted mana cost from among them, among those cards, onto the battlefield under your control. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Zagroth Mamba. Parcel Beast. Wow. Another Pouncing Sandstruck. So we got the, the foil alt art and we got the non-foil art, alt art. Pretty cool. Got a pair of them now. A lot of poop. Bristling Boar. Ten of Convolute. Imposing Sonic Safe. Cute Blazing Violet. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. There we go. Volpakeet. A fox bird. It's a bird. Nice. Nice. Pretty cool. Right. Pretty cool. Sorry, I had to get a drink there. Starting to blow out the voice. Maybe the other end? There we go. There we go. Beast token. Well, isn't that something? Got like a, uh, a dino tiger llama deer. Yeah. Dino tiger llama deer. That's the thing. Little foil planes action. Always nice to see a foil land. Good looking planes too. I like that with all the, the pinks and the blues and the purples in the sky. Kind of got a desert scene there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Another rare coming at you. Cub Warden. One white, three colorless creature cat. Mutate for two colorless, two white. Lifelink. Whenever this creature mutates, create two 1-1 one, one cat creature tokens with lifelinks. I see that going to cat decks. 3-5 creature cat. Cub Warden. Mystic Subdoodle, Momentum Rumbler, Skull Prophet. Ooh, Skull Prophet. Ooh, Skull Prophet. Green and a black. Tap for a green or a black. Tap, put the top two cards of your library to your graveyard. We're gonna, I'm gonna set him over here so I don't forget him. I got a, I got a, I got a thing that he's gonna, he's gonna do, and yeah, he's gonna be cool. So take our other two uncommons off the top there. Check for some alt art. See what else we find. Nothing. Nothing. Not a horrible box so far. I don't know if it's like a, a bunker box. We'll check prices afterwards. Let's we'll see how it goes. We've got the old, got the old scanner on standby here. Ooh, we should have scanned that land. That should have been a thing. Should have scanned that land. We'll do that after this pack. Another cat bird token. Boom. A little memory leak. Foil memory leak action. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it that player from that player's graveyard or hand and exile it. Wow. So you choose a non-land card from that player's graveyard or hand. That's that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. Nice. Bonders Enclave, rare land action. Tap to add a, a colorless. Uh Pay three, tap, draw a card, activate this ability only if you control a creature with power four or greater. Neutralize, counter target spell, lead the stampede. Hey, lead the stampede made a comeback. How about them apples? Lead the stampede. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal any number of non-creature cards from among them and put the revealed cards into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Very cool. Very cool. Ooh. Wonder if they got lead the stampedes in, in the comic book art. <whistles> Hello, nurse. Nice. Auspix Sterix. When this creature mutates, exile card from the top. X from the ah, 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 ah. we'll try it again. When this creature mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until exile X permanent cards, where X is the number of times this creature is mutated. Put those permanent cards onto the battlefield. That's got potential. We're gonna exploit you. We're gonna exploit you. Nothing major after that in that pack. K 
cat token. You, you know what? There's something going on here. You tell me one time you ever saw a cat that looked like a lion cub with green tiger stripes and horns. Now, I seen me a green tiger stripe lion one time with yellow or a green green tiger with yellow stripes one time, but He-Man was riding him. That was a different. That was a different thing altogether. I don't. I don't. Well, it's all Hasbro, right? Uh, 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 uh. Yep, that's the thing. Kitty cat, tranquil cove, Kahira, the orphan guard. Green and white. Green and white and a colorless legendary creature cat beast. Cat beast. Companion. Each creature card in your starting deck is a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast card. If this card is in your chosen companion, you may cast it once from outside the game. Vigilance. Each other creature you control that's a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast gets a 1 1 and has vigilance for a 3 2. Could be a cool commander. Could be a cool commander. Ooh, we'll wait and see. Rooting Molochs, Zenith Flare. Lord Drakus. When this creature mutates, return target inserts your sorcery card for good to your hand. Hey. Cloud piercer, nice. Nice. Little alt art cloud piercer will be piercing some clouds. So this coronavirus stuff, man, just want to play some cards. What a crazy deal, living in these times. Voracious Great Shark, I've already seen one of those. What a crazy time, man, you know? Right now I got all these people talking about not having their freedoms, not having their liberties. I didn't get arrested for coming here today. Nobody kicked in my door and said, hey, hey Woody. You got the Rona? It's not happening. People are just too sensitive. Overly sensitive people. Can't do it. Gotta relax. Just go with it a little bit. Lava Brink Venturer. One white, two colorless. Human Soldier. Three, three. Hold on. Hold on, we got a 3-3 three, three for 3. As Lava Bringer Venture enters the battlefield, choose odd or even. When Lava Brink Venture... Oh, Lava Brink Venture has protection from each converted mana cost of the chosen value. I don't know. Could be good. Seems very situational. Avian Oddity. Huntmaster Liger. Generals Enforcer. Legendary Humans Control of Indestructible. Hey, that's a thing. That's a thing. Add one mana of any color, spend this only to cast creature spells. I'm sure he'll find a place in the world. Very cool. Very cool. Like and subscribe below for your chance at this. Anyway, back to my point. So we just got to relax a little bit. We're living in a brave new world. Things are going to take time to settle out. I know, I was hoping for zombies too, but we didn't get them. We got a microbe, a little virus. Little tiny feller. Can't do nothing about him. But he's super cute. And he wants to hug all of us. So, we're going to have to just make it through. Think of him like a little D30. You know, just rolling around on the table. Doesn't really fit into anything that you're doing. Really isn't useful for anything in your game. But you still kind of want to have him because you've got everything up to a D20. Why not have a D30? Coronavirus. The new D30. Let's stick a D and D logo on him and just call it a day. <laughs> I know some of you at home right now are just like, "Hey, that's the new bad guy in my D and D campaign, Rona." Back for more. One green, one black, four colorless. Instant return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. When you do, it fights up to one target creature card you don't control. Boom, boom, boom. Turn on commons.
Guys should be getting out of the house. Get a little fresh air. Go visit the park or stare at a wall. Play. You know what? How about Frisbee? Is Frisbee like, can you play Frisbee with social distancing? Well, Frisbee golf, you just can't, you know, shouldn't be touching somebody else's disc. Giggity. Erie Ultimatum. Another rare. Turn any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. A little expensive to cast. Channel Force. Five more. Let me just take a moment to acknowledge that is a cool looking box topper, isn't it? You guys like that? That's good stuff, right? Very good stuff. Now, we've reached the part in our video I like to call safety awareness. If you have been properly washing your hands up until now during this video, you're probably still going to get it. Too dark? Too soon? Maybe. Could be. Chevelle, Bane of Monsters. One green, one black, legendary creature, human rogue. Death touch, one, three. At the beginning of your upkeep, if your opponents control no permanents with bounty counters on them, put a bounty counter on target creature, planeswalker, and opponent controls. Whenever a permanent an opponent controls with a bounty counter dies, you gain three life and draw a card. It's got potential. It's got potential. Oh, Mythic. Mythic. What am I doing? Told you I was going to mess that up. Rex. Don't forget at the end of this video, we're going to take a minute, kind of scan through our rares, our alt arts. See how many times TCG can tell us that we've got an alpha, beta, unlimited, lotus, mox. Ketria Crystal. Another one of those nice little uh, mana fixing and ramping little uh, artifact gimmicks. Red, blue, green. A lot of good, good stuff coming from there. Another Triome. Rogue and Triome. Is that the same one we had? No, we had Ketria Triome. Nice. An island mountain plains, so they're fetchable. Forever Beast, Bookball Crater. All right, there we go. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum no alt art. Here goes our piles. Here goes our. That's how it happens, folks. Just like that. One minute everything is right in the world. The next minute your piles going to hell. Oh yeah, we're drinking water during this. I got nothing else to do. I mean, you might be in a hurry. Heck, you're probably sitting there right now waiting to go get your tuberca herpelosis checked or confirmed. Maybe you're awaiting results. Either way, pause the video. Come back. Watch it later. And remember, most of us are in this together. Snapdax. Mythos of Snapdax. Snapdax looks like a bad Mamma Gemma. Sorcery. Each player chooses an artifact, creature, or enchantment and, and planeswalker from among the non-land permanents they control, then sacrifices the rest. If black or red was spent to cast a spell, you choose the permanents for each player instead. Whoa! That's awesome. Too white, too colorless. Wow. Artifact, creature, enchantment, and planeswalker. Sounds like a card I know that, that never used to say Planeswalker. And I love the uh, the little uh, red or a black, and you get to choose. Sanctuary Lockdown, Lord Dracus. Great looking art in this set. A lot of great looking art in this set. Really digging it. Really digging it. Let me in there. Oh, we got upside down there. Another inspired ultimatum. 
Porky Parrot. That's a thing. About two thirds of the way through our box here. Not a lot of goodness left. A lot of potential for hits. We're already four, three mythics in. Sorry, three mythics in and a full art land. All these available to buy. Anti up. Gaming Oscoda. Kogan the Titan Ape. Legendary Creature Ape. Ape. Good thing I have the op filter installed on the microphone. When Koga, the Titan Ape, enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. When Koga attacks, destroy target an artifact or enchantment defending player controls. One green, one colorless, return target human you control to its owner's hand. Koga. Kogla. Kogla. There's an L in there. I'm sorry. Kogla gains indestructible until end of turn. Seven, six, or six. It's an indestructible monkey. That's a furnace running. It kicked on. It turned on. It's cold in here and it's quiet. It's just me and producer Dave working today. Producer Dave doesn't even want to be here. He's like, I could be at home surfing the old interweb. Doing just about anything. Not having to listen to Woody run his mouth endlessly. Like some kind of a boat motor. What? Stick it together. Give me a card. Lurie the Spell Chaser. Is it colors? Red and blue, red and blue. One. Legendary creature, Elemental Otter. It's the band Otter. You know him, you love him. Commanion. Super crooked. When loot three, the spell caster enters the battlefield. If you cast it, copy target answers sorcery spar up. Bring choice from new targets. It's copy. I can't speak English. When loot tree, the spell chaser enters the battlefield. If you cast it, copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. Flash. It's an otter with flash. It's a flashy otter. Hello from the other side. My bench is squeaking. My furnace is running. I'm throwing the good cards across the table. Umori the collector. We've got a second foil rare of this box. Second foil rare. Umori the Collector. A green and a black, a green and black, and two colorless. Legendary creature ooze. Companion. Each non-land card in your starting deck shares a card type. And this card is your companion. You may cast it from outside the game. As Umori the Collector enters the battlefield, choose a card type. Spells you cast of the chosen type cost one less to cast. 4-5 for 4, Umori, the Collector. Ketria Trinome. I think that's, uh, yeah, that's what, that's what our, uh, that's what our awesome card is right there. Very nice, very nice. Silky smooth, silky smooth. Did we get another Mythic? Did I get my mythic mixed up? Did I put my mythic someplace my mythic doesn't belong? Could be. Could be. We'll just check real quick. Not a mythic, not a mythic, not a mythic, not a mythic. Oh, is that a mythic? Not a mythic, not a mythic, not a mythic. Not a mythic, not a mythic, not a mythic, not a mythic. Definitely not. Probably not. Couldn't be. Wouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Don't even like that card. What's it doing here? How'd that get there? What are we doing? Okay, back on track. Just a few packs to go, folks. Getting down there, bottom of the box. Stick with me. I know it's been a long video. Colossification.
I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We won't make you sit through it this time. I'm gonna shoot a separate video at the end of this. If you guys wanna see the prices, you can see me scan them all into TCG at the end. Oh my gosh. And destructor pack. In destructor pack. Human. Wow. Third one of these. Third one. Crystalline Giant. I should have been going this fast at the beginning. I apologize. We're learning together. 40 minutes in. We're still opening packs. I feel, I feel like I've robbed from you. I apologize. Little foil action. I'll bosh the Prey Piercer. Nice. Companion. I'm a source with uh, ah, bah, bah, Okay. Starting deck contains odd converted mana costs and land cards. If a source you control... Oh my god, I cannot speak. Your starting deck contains only cards with odd converted mana costs and land cards. If a source you control with odd converted mana costs would be dealt damage would deal damage to a permanent or a player. It deals double that damage to your permanent player instead. Wow. Kind of a cool card. Kind of a cool card, Sprite Dragon. Nice. Come on. Let's get that fourth mythic. We're going to do it together. Another mythic action card. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Another full art triome. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is just awesome. Indafa triome. Plain swamp forest. I'm digging it. I am digging it. Digging it, digging it, digging it. Two of those. Not quite the mythic we were looking for, but it'll do. It'll do. Good amount of the uh, the alt art cards, but uh, not overwhelming. Definitely, uh, definitely no constellation fever going on in these packs. Last three packs, folks. Last three packs. A feather token artifact. Sacrifice feather return target Phoenix card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Ooh, Phoenixes. Dirge Bat. Ominous Seas. Unbreakable Bond. Necro Panther. Mythos of Illumina. Two blue, two colorless. Create a token that's a copy of target permanent. If red or green was spent to cast this spell, instead create a token that's a copy of that permanent, except when this permanent enters the battlefield, if it's a creature, it fights up to one target creature you didn't control. Strong push towards the three colors in this set. Strong push. Last pack, folks. Last pack. Can we get our mythic? Can we get our mythic? Give it. Give it up. Cards, man. Jeez. 
Well, I suppose that's a pretty good constellation prize. C Dasher Octopus, two blue, one colorless creature, octopus, mutate, flash. When this creature deals combat damage to the player, draw a card. That's that's pretty solid. Lots of evolving wilds. Gonna be good to see those back in regular play. Alright, man. That's it. That's what we got. Oh yeah. That's right. We do got one more. Do you got one more? If you uh if you fast forward to the end of this video just to watch this, you're a dilly. Don't like being called a dilly? Say so in the comments. Ha <laughs> ha, I got you. If you like this video and you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, share, comment, all those things. They help. They really do with the metrics. Oh, how's that for a box topper? Foil baby Godzilla. Ruin reborn. Each creature spell you cast costs one colorless less to cast if it has mutate. Whenever you cast a creature spell, if it has mutate, draw a card and then discard a card. Baby Godzilla. Actual card is Polywog Symbiote. But in this case, it's freaking Baby Godzilla. Look at that. Beautiful card. All right. I think that's going to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been your host, Woody. You've been freaking amazing. Check us out next time. Anti-Up Gaming. Have a good one.